My name is Tyrone Dowling. I am the Director of Education for the Waterloo Catholic District School Board. And prior to that, I was a Superintendent of Education with the Wellington Catholic District School Board for two years. And prior to that, I had spent 21 years as a principal at five different schools at Waterloo Catholic. Is someone on social media, and to me they're, they're, they're selling something or they're representing a brand. I don't know that I would see that as an influencer though. I'm a person who I, I, I follow or I read or I'm inspired by quotes. And so influencers to me are people who've uh, made a difference but not necessarily attempted to make that difference. I was born in Bermuda. The Congregation of the Resurrectionists, the CRs, had a province in Bermuda. My stepdad was encouraged to come to St. Jerome's High School in Kitchener as a boarding student and then ended up becoming a teacher for, at the time, Waterloo Region Separate School Board, which is now Waterloo Catholic. And he and my mom decided to get married, so he brought my mom and I to Canada. Being a Waterloo kid, I went to St. David's until grade 10 and then came to St. Jerome's and for grade 11, 12, and 13. And Father Mike was just this, I don't wanna say he was jovial, but he wasn't like serious. He was just happy, seemed to be a fairly relaxed man. And, uh, but when he spoke, you listened. That was, that was it. Uh, walk softly, carry a big stick. That was Father Mike. He always took time to talk to me. Always made me feel important. I think the biggest tribute to Father Mike was my first year of university, he passed away. And so he was in the car accident. You know, um, apparently he swerved the car that saved the life of, I believe it was his niece and his nephew. And that's Father Mike, right? Like, and I remember coming to his funeral over here at, at St. Mary's. And it's not a small church. And it was packed. And guys came back from university to go to his funeral. Like that said a lot to me. I really hope that I could, I could have that influence to make people feel special. I've had the opportunity now to know people in high school who have become priests. One of the things that I've enjoyed is the ability to have conversation and to reflect. And I think if someone's thinking or being open to that discernment about life as, as a religious, that that willingness to converse with others and to actively do so, I think is a powerful thing. We live in a secular society. And what we talk about in Catholic education is totally countercultural. How do we do that every day with success? Because we are. And it's our kids giving it to us. And so when you think about someone who's open, I think about someone who's open to having those conversations, who's open to some of the challenges that the church faces today. I think that the CRs have influenced me to help, I hope, to empower others and to ask questions that make us reflect on our faith and how our faith is empowering our next generation and hopefully influencing them.